go. Well, here we are at Cherry Creek Access on the Madison River. Cold morning in April. It was about 25 when I woke up, maybe a little cooler. Only about 30 right now. The forecast was calling for pretty heavy wind, so I wasn't even sure I was gonna go fit. But it's actually relatively calm. Although it's cool, can't get my net sorted out. I started off with a nice little rainbow. There we go, another one. Water's got a little bit of tint to it today. Oh, a nice rainbow. And what I learned is I thought it was the wind because the wind can get pretty, ah. Uh, Badly tied knot and took my fly. There we go. Another little spicy rainbow. But anyhow, you might notice on camera or not, but the river has some tint to it. And I thought that was from wind, but what I learned uh, this week is actually because, uh, and something I've known for a long time, uh, Ennis Lake, which the lower Madison runs out of, is fairly shallow from all the silt that's run into it over the years. And because it's so shallow, this time of year when you get the warmer days and the cold nights. Nice little rainbow. That it turns over multiple times. And so anytime it does that, it kicks up silt and sediment. Nice little rainbow. One sitting right on that ledge. I've got on a three and a half millimeter. It's uh, black with a little bit of UV flash on it and then a little uh, pheasant tail Frenchie with some orange. They seem to be liking the, the black fly this morning with this little bit of tint in the water. In front of me. I'm almost sitting right on the seam line, had to get all the slack out, another rainbow. And this one took the, the pheasant tail Frenchie. There we go. Feels like it had some size to it. Just another rainbow. So far it's all rainbows. And a lot of them have some gray in the body, which means they're on the back end of their spawn. Up. 
There we go. Got it straightened out. 